Tis a glad thing we rested when we Try not to get hit, unless all that wind goes These beams are only truly defeated when their skulls are smashed beyond repair. That's the thing, and it feels wonderful to strike true. Unawares. I am shamed. We ought to consider this a lesson. This is what befalls one who lets down their guard. today. Oh, 
what has become of the world. Would that there was someone who could explain this madness. Come to think of it, did not Sir Athea speak of releasing the world from its bonds in the seafloor shrine? If this is indeed the world unbound, then perhaps we ought to seek out his wisdom. is nowhere to be seen, Master. But where would a pawn possibly go, leaving their own master behind? Perhaps this too. No longer do I feel the probing gaze of the Watching One. Is this your doing, newest of the Arisen? I am he who brought the dragon low, and o'er its bones raised the proud kingdom of Vernon. Despite the magnitude of my feet, I was dissatisfied and sought air greater heights, till at last I ruled the world entire. Thus did I come to know of the Watching One, the being by whose many eyes and ears no one or thing in this world goes unobserved. As to the purpose with which they watch, I know not. Yet I did divine one thing. This world has lain neath the Watching One's unwavering gaze ere the dawn of its history. I despaired at this discovery, for, if all is but a stage, did that not render my hard-won glories, my throne astride the world, mere spectacles for the all-seeing eye to watch? I, twas was all a farce, and I, the fool, exulting in my wooden crown. Do you understand, newest of the Arisen? This is why I sought to fell the Watching One. Alas, though I cut down all who seemed false, be they man or woman, human or beast, young or old, I did not succeed. Indeed, my efforts led only to my own ruin. I was dubbed the Mad Sovereign, and by the hand of a new arisen, consigned to this place forevermore. Yet, I can only assume that you have achieved what I could not. How else to explain the changes I sense in the world? Ah, oh, what bitter gall that I cannot witness the outcome for myself. Falter not, newest of the Arisen, for your path is just, and fading spirit though I am, I may yet summon those who can be of aid to you.
I see you have returned, Arisen One. The Mad Sovereign has called, and so we answer. If you would save the people of this world from ruin, lead them here. For this place may chance to escape the coming destruction. I imagine the people of this world will welcome the tidings that there is a place of refuge awaiting them. The Mad Sovereign's power yet girds this place. It could prove the last bastion of hope for the people of this world. Alas, it will not hold forever. The coming destruction can only truly be forestalled if tis sundered at its heart. Since times of eld, dragon blood. Remember, draconic blood flows through the veins of Lesser drinks as well. Then I bid ye farewell. We too once bore the mantle of Arisen, though no longer. As we walked our respective paths, each of us lost the incomparable strength of will that made us Arisen. One in despair of the dragon's boundless might, one in pursuit of vengeance's cold comfort, and one for fear of what fate held in store. Yet, you bear it still, Arisen One. Hold fast to your strength of will, for it shall doubtless lend you the strength you will need to spare this world its end. This is General Karil, Kemen Rostindome non Meltol, Morvea Kuruir. You're no elf, Halan Lome Meltol. I am called Darren. My brother taught me to speak your tongue. <laughs> so different from our own. Do you understand me? I learned the words, but this is the first I use them. <laughs> Others of your kind have come here. But my people... warn them away. Oh, but I cannot stay. I must, um... see to the Arbor Heart. No useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's aught to be found while we're here? Non fear Nimbawe. Ala Kail. Heron on Alastar Monelinda. My duty is to the Arbor Heart, she is called. She has been with us uh, a very long time. She is nature's very heart and a pillar of strength for my people. We have always lived in harmony with nature, and the Arbor Heart is our uh, uh, connection to the land. Yet, um, day by day, her strength is, is failing. I must give her nourishment of the soil to help her recover. A special kind, called Gwifentia, in my language. I know not what you would call it in yours. Once, a dwarf wandered into the arbor and gifted some to us. It filled the arbor heart with life. Now, um, little remains. Too little for the arbor heart to recover her strength in full. She begins to wane. Do you know of this substance? It must be found outside the arbor somewhere. If you find any, will you tell me where it lies? Lamentari. <laughs> Is 
Castle Road Fanon. One can not came in Indo? The sky glows red with fury. What have we done to I Your pawn is nowhere to be seen, Master. But where would a pawn possibly go? Leaving their own master behind. You say you're on the hunt for Griffentia. Darren asked that of you, I expect. To said a woefully lost blacksmith once stumbled into the arbor and left some of it with us upon parting. In your language, it is called by another name. What was it? I know I've read of it, of course. Scale Cinder, that's the one. It can be found in Batal, I believe. I know no more than that. It isn't much talked about, you see. The blacksmith was a dwarf, and the elders rather prejudiced about their ilk. My friend, how glad I am to see you yet live. When word reached me of your uncanny disappearance, I admit I feared the worst. What has become of this world? Our people fear for the future. We cannot be sure we will be safe here. Yet this place is all we know. All we have. You think we need to evacuate? I see. And you know of a place where we might find refuge? I should gladly follow you. But I fear my father will not be so easily persuaded. Nonetheless, we can but try. Come. As arborist, Sir Taliesin is the leader of the elven people. Let us follow our guide, that we might speak with him. It is as you say. Vindelnar. Ne veo nor wende lis kemen. Moriven lis erumar meltol netara. Casinke telpe nun findaler, nun mor arda her. Karilm ilmen narcael, silfa nambawe nun kalael alame, angadur sindi. Mor nambwe hiroth enfane ava silmines fana. Eruar ne kemen malantar ingadur. Fielis lintan morivin nun we ingarina? Kemenindor kanyan irils aldekar. Etheler le affer mor el dalia eralot. Ondovana alvekil etheler ne anler ailame. Hmm. I am afraid my father has closed his heart so tightly that even my words cannot reach him. If only the Arbor Heart were restored to health, perhaps he might be persuaded. Salma Arendt, A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? There's a ladder here. After you are risen. These are troubled times, but rest assured, our door. Soft. You know where to find. I fear I've no wisdom to offer. Mayhap we could bring the people to the seafloor shrine. Your Majesty, how glad I am to see you safe. Where have you been this past month? The end of the world. Are things truly so dire? Though, I am aware of the dragon attack on Melv. 
We received word that naught but a smoking ruin remains. Twas a tragedy, and I would not see it repeated. However, without a clear path, we and the guard shall be hard pressed to forestall the impending crisis. You would have me evacuate the city? I see. Mayhap it would be for the best. Ever since the fall of Mel, the citizens of Vernworth have lived in fear that their homes are next to be assailed. If there is safe harbor to be found elsewhere, I believe we have naught to lose by seeking sanctuary. But I doubt I could convince the people of this city to abandon their homes, however terrified they may be. Methinks your majesty would do better to ask this of the Regent King. After the false sovereign vanished and the world was altered, his grace has been the one keeping order here in Vermont. If the people will heed anyone, tis him. Maintaining order in Vermont must be quite a burden upon the young Regent Kin. Let us aid him however we may. Tis easily done. Need anything? Stop by again soon. Welcome to Pure and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So if we hope to see you again. What's to be done about this? I keep my prices as fair as I can afford. Interested in my ways? Now here's a welcome sign. Let's see. Where to next? Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the arisen. So you've come. I'm glad to see you. Captain Brandt has already apprised me of your proposal. A full-scale evacuation of the citizenry. Truth be told, I had reached the same conclusion. So long as we cow within these walls, we must live in fear of going the way of Melv. My ministers have approved the plans, and I have petitioned the encampment survivors and the Thieves' Guild for aid. The only remaining obstacle is my mother. She has set herself stubbornly against any such flight. I have tried to make her see reason, but of late she has taken to shutting herself in her chambers. However, I fear that my position permits me to entertain her fancy no longer. I must put the needs of the common folk before her selfish whims. Now, there are a few matters I must attend to before we can evacuate. 
And I would fain welcome your assistance. We will require several ox carts to carry the sick and aged out of the city. Might I prevail upon you to petition the merchant at the ox cart station in the west of the city for their use? You may assure him that the royal treasury will foot any and all expenses. Queen Regent Deesa hardly leaves her chambers, and all her meals come back scarcely touched between you and me. I fear for her health. Queen Regent Deesa hardly leaves her chamber between you and me. I fear for her health. Have you come to claim my life, Arisen? Well, far be it from me to deny you. But I shall go to the grave with a smile on my lips, for I have no regrets. All I did, I did for my darling son. So do as you will. I have no intention of begging for mercy. Do with me as you will. They wish they were in my boots. <laughs> if they only knew. The throne and its powers. The throne and its powers hold no meaning in a broken world. Queen Regent Deesa hardly leaves her chambers, and all her... Boots to train, arms to procure, no time to sleep. Everyone's busy with their own affairs, I see. This might be worth a read. A thorough perusal might... As long as I get my gold, who takes the carts is no concern of mine. It's Grace's welcome to them. We have chartered the ox carts as requested. Tis a pleasant change for things to go so smoothly, hey, Master? Aptly said. Apologies, Master, but you will have to do without us for the time being. Mother, I must beg your forgiveness. I believed that you desired to make me sovereign solely for your own benefit. But in truth, you sought to better the lot of our people. Ah, but I would have benefited. And handsomely at that. Besides, I cannot deny that I was proud. I wished to see my own son on the throne, and no other. Even so, 
I cannot help but feel that all of this could have been avoided. Had I only been more attentive, if I had but better known your heart, I could have shared in your burdens. You would not have had to suffer alone, and perhaps together we could have walked a better path. Oh, Sven. Mother, I beg you, join the evacuation. You need not fall with this city. I would not see you take your crimes wholly on your own shoulders. That weight is as much mine to bear as tis yours. My son, you truly would make a fine and goodly ruler. Your kindness will save many lives. Of that I have no doubt. My son, your kindness will save many lives. Ah, you've returned. How fares your procurement of those carts? You do? My thanks. That puts paid to the last of our preparations. I will inform the citizenry forthwith. My thanks. Sometimes I wonder if I'm fine. Dull days for us are a sign that... It is a duty. I'll lead the way.
us to avoid battle wherever possible. Gathering materials makes for dull work indeed. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. This is a remarkable treasure we've found. Perhaps fortune has deigned to aid us at last. I suppose your wounds won't heal themselves? Best keep still a moment. Your pawn is nowhere to be seen, Master. But where would a pawn possibly go, leaving their own master behind? Perhaps this too is Lord Phasus' doing. We ought to go and speak with him at the Forbidden Magic Research Lab. The Batali Knights use this place to train. You're not one of us, so I cannot imagine you've any business being here. Pray, leave us in peace. Oh? You believe we ought to evacuate? Farther, I dare say, than anyone would go for the sake of an idle jest. Hmm. If we must leave... We shall have to begin preparations at once, but I think we're a bit short on hands to attend to all that must be done. In fact, there's a rather delicate matter that I could use some help with. A blacksmith and his wife dwell on the encampment outskirts. Might you escort them here, so that they can join the evacuation? The smith, Gustava, is a man of good sense. But as for his wife, well, suffice to say, Cleuna has always been a contentious sort. She'd have naught to do with us, given the choice and isn't likely to take kindly to the arrival of any of my knights on her doorstep. I can only hope that she will be more willing to listen to you, a third party, as to her. And while you're taking care of that, I will see to it that the incumbent is made ready to depart with all due haste. I had no idea that such a couple dwelled on the outskirts of Volcanic Island. Were you aware, Master? Well, well. Color me surprised. You're no soldier, are you? I'd not recommend camping. You'll await neath a blanket of ash. I can give you a roof over your- A good sleep will ensure we are prepared. So, Gwifentia is the elvish word for scale cinder. I suppose we ought to pay a visit to a Batali blacksmith next. Follow me. I will guide you- the location. I've weapons to sell. Truth be told, I'm of half a mind to pack up and leave. What with- Well met, sir. Have you a commission for me? Always a pleasure. Why have we bought so many curatives? Have you forgotten that I'm a mage, master? You're no soldier. I'd not recommend camping. You'll await neath a blanket of ash. I can give you- your roof over your head, at least. Always a pleasure. This is quite a quandary. Ah, a ballista. 
These have quite a long range. Let us make use of this during battle. I've no doubt it would catch our foes unawares. It would seem we need not always travel by foot, if novel inventions such as this are to be found. I dare say there'd be no harm in using this. Really, no. You mustn't shirk your duty. Lest you forget, tis the arisen we serve here. I'm well aware of that, thank you. may yet be evacuated. Let us begin with the place most likely to be marked for destruction. Feel the ground tremble underfoot. Tis proof that the volcano is very much awake. Be on your guard. The monsters here are prone to frenzy. when we did. Try not to get hit, lest all that boom go to waste. 
Thank you, friend. I dread to think what might have become of me had you not happened along when you did. This place does not have long left, I fear. We ought to get to safety, though I have to wonder if anywhere is safe now. I'd gladly accompany you, believe me. But the others here? Well, suffice to say, they won't be able to join us. Follow me. You'll see what I mean. We are fortunate indeed. This is a rare find. I dare say the quandary of what to do with it is half the joy. The flow of time feels almost... It is a jail of sorts, this place. A compound where we set captured pawns to work. They were supposed to be digging up old ruins or some such. Confess, I don't know all of the ins and outs of the operation. Underlings like myself were given orders and little else, you see. Well, here you have it. They've been like this for a month straight now. They refuse to leave. You might as well try talking to a wall. I know they don't die like we do, but it seems cruel to abandon them here all the same. I never wanted to be here, you know, taking part in all of this. The enslavement of pawns doesn't sit well with me. I suppose that's why I can't bring myself to leave them behind. Either that, or the current state of the world helps to put things in perspective. At any rate, I've tried everything I can think of to get them out, but naught's done any good. I'm at rather a loss. The command came a month ago or more. We are to remain here, and so we remain. I implore you, Arisen. Take me with you. So they're staying here because they were ordered to remain. And they told you that, did they? Strange. I couldn't get a word out of them. I wonder why they saw fit to speak with you. But never mind that. More importantly, you've given me an inkling of the problem at hand. It was the Overseer's doing, methinks. When the world changed, that craven up and ran for his life. But on his way out, he used that artifact they call the God's Way to command the pawns to protect him. I expect that order of his is what the pawns were referring to. But why would they continue to obey when the man is long gone? Unless... Listen, friend. I have a thought. What say you have a look around and see what you can turn up? If the Overseer's command is indeed still in effect, it could be that he is lurking somewhere not far from here. Use that key to have a look around. It should open any doors you come across. Best keep your eyes peeled for the Overseer as well. I have a feeling he's still lurking about here somewhere. Pray, spirit me from this danger. I am sorry. Let me get that. Is it? How convenient. We ought to put it to good use. <sighs> I suppose we might as well gather what we can. If I lose my next shipment to bandits, I'm... Do come again?
So, the pawns were being held here by the power of this god's way. Now they ought to be free to make good their escape. Splendid. Why? Peruse at your leisure, sir. But oh. I could really use some assistance. This wasn't supposed to happen. So, there was naught left of the overseer but bones, eh? I'll wager he thought to take the pawns with him to the grave. He always was a spiteful old goat. At any rate, I'm well grateful for your aid, friend. Now that the pawns are on their feet, Methinks I can get them to safety. I only hope they'll heed my words as they have yours. But I'm not worried. I'll find a way to reach them in time, no doubt. My word! Isn't this the God's sway? With this, I'll be able to guide the pawns to the refuge without delay. Now there's no chance of any of them being left behind. It seems I've no end of things to thank you for, my friend. I appreciate all you've done here. I'll get the pawns to safety, don't you worry. With this, their evacuation is all but assured. God sways are loathsome artifacts, but I suppose they have their uses. Outstanding! We seem to have arrived without issue, but are we safe here? No rest for the weary, it seems. We will be hard pressed to find victory here. We cannot kill our wounds. was most effective. As a matter of fact, one master I served was quite the carefree soul, shunning armor in all its forms. I'll be sure to keep that in mind.
I? What do you want? My husband and I are simple folk. In these perilous times, all we ask is to be left alone. Pray leave us be, sir. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. I'm sorry. You'd have us evacuate with the encampment? <laughs> Why, we could never! Come what may, this place is our home. Now, now. I'll hear none of that. Stranger or no, our guest came all the way out here just to warn us. That's the mark of a good sort, and I trust my gut. This one shan't steer us wrong. But, Ghost Offer, what of your back? Bah! I can manage a little walking. Besides, I'd rather hike a thousand leagues on two bloody stumps than lose you, my dear. Oh, Ghost Offer, how can I say no to that? Oof! Confirm this back of mine. Don't trouble yourself with me, sir. Lead on. Very well, sir. We shall join you. Would you be... Let us see our charges to the encampment. But be mindful. The path seems much changed since last we walked it. Outstanding. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. I've just recalled. I found a treasure chest near here during my- Could I trouble you to walk a wee bit slower? My back is like to- Oh! There it goes! We have found a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. The red clouds are suffused with ill intent. Might they not be someone's will made manifest? There is little to be done about so lofty a foe, yet we must try to find a means of dealing with them. I ill like this. We are already hard pressed from our previous.
was thrilling. I did not know I could feel so alive. Could I trouble you to walk a bit slower? Let me get that. This is my first time clapping eyes on such an item. I expect my own master has yet to even discover it. We are none of us alike, and it is dark enough to warrant the use of your lantern, Master. If your pack grows over full, simply ask me to sell off your surplus items. I'll... Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. After you a reason? I suppose we might as well gather what we can. Well, here we are. How long before the evacuation begins, I wonder? Would you find Serenesto and tell him we've arrived? Let him know that we'll wait here till the time comes. Is a ballista arisen? Ha ha! I can think of all manner of- Sir, I implore you to reconsider. Surely you can see that the situation is dire. How many times must I say it? I'll not be ordered about. Not by ye, not by anyone. Now bugger off and leave me alone. Ah, good. You're back. 
I'm afraid there's another matter for which I must beg your assistance. It concerns the fellow I was just speaking with. Sir Lamond, his name is. The man's something of a regular at our hot springs. I sought him out to tell him of the evacuation, but he has flatly refused to join us. I must confess, I'm at a loss as to how I might convince him. Could I prevail upon you to try your hand? At this point, methinks anything I say will fall on deaf ears. Perhaps we might speak with this Sir Lamond. The evacuation effort stands to benefit from another pair of hands. Oh, well, it is easily done. I? What would you of me? <laughs> not this again. I'm here to live my life as I see fit. I'll not be ordered about by anyone, cuz. You got that? Aye. I know those two. Good people. But I don't see why I should have to be the one responsible for them. Why don't ye do it? If they mean so much to ye. Oi! I heard out ye request. Kindly bugger off and leave me in peace. Sir Lamond has refused to lend his aid, and it seems there's little hope of changing his mind. Let us inform Sir Ernesto. This? I did not expect. So, Sir Lamond is not to be convinced. It would have eased my mind to have him join us, but I suppose there's naught to be done. The hour of our departure is almost upon us. It will be slow going, no doubt. We have wounded whom we must accommodate. Yet, come what may, I swear to see them all to safe harbor. The people of Volcanic Island are evacuated. May they make it through the impending chaos intact. I suppose tis so? I trust we've all inspected our equipment. Off we go then. Clouds, encroach ever closer. It seems naught can be done to hold them now. Panicking will avail us not. What business have you? Don't bring trouble to my door, you hear? More than my life's worth, yes. We have arrived. Wow, wow. Look who did. What brings you to the smithy? Looking for scale cinder, are we? Well, you're in a look. Our forge is flit. Oh, tis at an elf's behest, you say? I'm afraid that changes things a wee bit. Elves and dwarves don't get along, see? Brocker won't want to help you, unless you were to offer him aught he couldn't resist. Listen, I happen to know there's one bit of elven culture no dwarf can turn their nose up at. All elven fares bland as grass. All of it. That is, save this singularly flavoursome dish, Nutriab. Of course, no dwarf would openly admit to having a taste for it, but the fact of the matter is, the mere smell of that dish has dwarves foaming at the maw. Don't believe me. Bring a ball of it to Brocker. You'll soon see. So the blacksmith ought grant us some Gwifentia in exchange for Nutriarb. Shall we inform Miss Darren of this, Master? I believe I can guide you to the person in question. 
Vanguard. It's yours. Lead on. So the blacksmith ought grant us some Gwifentia in exchange for Nutria. Shall we inform Miss Darren of this, Master? I take it you've some business with this. Have you found Gwifentia? A dwarven blacksmith has some? Truly? But elves and dwarves do not see, uh, eye to eye. I fear the smith will not heed my plea. You believe he will if I prepare an elven dish? Which one? Nutriarb. Dwarves have a liking for it, they say? Are you certain? Nutriarb is not very tasty. Few elves enjoy it. It is a pungent stew of um, old fish and apples, boiled till it forms a, a, a thick paste. But I shall prepare it, if it has any chance of bringing me Grafentia. The Arbor Heart depends upon it. Would you be willing to gather the ingredients for me? You won't have to go far to find them. I thank you. I need only the two main ingredients. Rotten apples and rotten fish. Bring them to me, and I will prepare Nutriab. Rotten fish and apples? My stomach lurches at the very thought. But I suppose we ought to procure them all the same. I suppose it is so. Herr Minrat, Herr Arlinda. Isel Rod Fanon. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Sir Arisen, I trust that you pray see to it that Nautic No one's coming to assail us. May
Reanimative magics have the opposite effect on reanimated dead. Tis an irony, but one that can work in our favour. took more out of me than I would have liked. This might be worth a read. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. You want something? Spit it out or piss off. That's right. I was telling you about now. Listen well. We're unlikely to find any warm half here. We'd best be prepared to make our own light before we proceed. Understood. Foes are like to use the dark against us. We 
must focus on finding victory, whatever our discomfort. went as well as we might have hoped. Let us cast our eyes about and analyze the situation. Do you have the ingredients? This is all I need. I will prepare the dish now. It shan't take long. My people dwell in the mountains, so we are rarely able to dine on fish from the sea. This dish was first made by an elf with a craving for fish, when no fresh fish was to hand. These fish already stink of the sea. Left to rot, they turn even more um, pungent. <laughs> Nutriarb is oft served at celebratory events, but I have never seen anyone eat it. Everyone turns their noses from the smell. Hmm. Ugh. I must endure. It is almost finished, thankfully. The stink is more than I can bear. It is ready, but it is so vile. I cannot understand how anyone could stomach it, let alone enjoy it. I fear the dwarven blacksmith will be angry if I present him with this, but I will trust in you. Come, let us away to Batal. I thank you. Here, my brother gave this to me. Might we not use it now? The sooner we arrive, the better. Welcome to the Five Welsh. 
Look as long as you please. Do come again. A customer then. That changes things. Some of Go on, have a look. I'm in mean, no hurry to leave. Well met. I lost all the time. If you think this place is too comfortable. A customer, then. That changes things. You were privy to the goings-on in the Forbidden Magic Research Lab, even among the Batali. Indeed. And the researchers employed there are as- You're back! And who's that you've got with you? An elf? I ne'er met one afore. <laughs> Not quite what I imagined, if I'm honest. Uh, well met. The name's Sarah. I'm an apprentice here at the Smithy. Well met. She's the one who's after the scale cinder, I expect. Have you brought some of that elven delicacy along with you then, like I suggested? Yes. I have the Nutriarb with me. Marvellous. I thought I smelt it on you. Mark me. You put that in front of Brocker, and he'll fain hear out your request. Right, follow me. I've just cleaned out the forge, see, so we'll need to make for the cavern where we dump all the excess scale cinder. Come on, you two. The cavern's this way. Shall we follow Sir Sara, Master? With any luck, we'll have pockets full of scale cinder before the day is done. Very well, if I must. A customer then. That changes me. Not so. How can I get this I'm something of a loss. But a long day of work. Rabbit. I thought I told you that you imbecile. You brought an elf here, of all things. Get her out of here. Now! Hold a moment, Brocker. She's brought something for you. Don't you want to see what is? A gift for you. Bah! What makes you think I'd be able to stomach your elven cooking? I'm gonna go dispose of this. And I expect the elf to be gone when I return. What am I to do now? What you came here for, of course! This is your chance! Truly? But... You'll have to be quick, mind. Brocker makes short work of his meals. While you're at it, you might have yourselves a little competition, eh? See who can collect more of the stuff. Anyway, good luck. I'll be outside keeping watch. Best start searching. Brocker might be back any moment. It seems Sir Broker has a taste for the elven dish after all. Let us use this chance to gather ample scale cinder.
Hogs carts aren't operating anymore, are they? It is perfectly understandable, albeit rather inconvenient. Simply put, this is not the reward we would have asked for. Cast it aside would only make it more pointless. We pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? Where else can I look? My heart is racing. I thought the dwarf would catch us. How much scale cinder did you get? You've got so much. With this, the Arbor Heart will undoubtedly recover. For now, I must return and tend to the Arbor Heart. I hope you will come visit us again. I should like you to see the Arbor Heart, um, restored. And I must thank you as well, Sarah. You and the blacksmith, Brocker. Not at all. It was my pleasure. I'm sure Brock would say the same if he weren't so stubborn. Now the Arbor Heart is sure to recover, and seeing Miss Derren's cheerful mien made all our labours worthwhile. We seem to have arrived without issue, but are we safe here? I suppose we might as well gather what we can. At long last, life buds anew from the Arbor Heart. If we make a, a cutting from her boughs, she could take root elsewhere. We can make our home in any land, so long as she is with us. And though we may leave the arbor behind, we will carry with us something far more, um, precious. Our lives. 
I wish to speak with father. Would you come with me? A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Findelnar, nevea nolwendelis kemen, morivin lis palan oio eromar mel tol netara. Kasinke telpe nun findeler, nun mor arta her. Fionar elwe arfarne nenwen sur orne, i avstir lalastar. Nun falasmir, malananon? Morvani morivin, Findelnar. Neveatara morivin. Lis fa aldakar kemen ros. Hera war lis nun. Yav morin garina la kasar kemen ros iloratu anfir tara. Eteler karil morivin al kadar palan. Kemen nun lis alekano. Surne kemen ros here non yav kuruir. Fallis isil rod lintar, ne ya valecano ve anun sinde lungtena. Nun lis aman bakil angadur femor. Herenon nun lia findelnar, lia wemor. Findelnar morivin or ne osto, firnis morivin. Morivin kemen tur alecano. Menelum heroth mor karilm an our door. Al karwa fir nun el daya. Ane martir tindome ingarina fa alme al karwa. Et aler le afer mor el dalia eralote. Sorne an famelton. Vanelin heros soron. Kasinke telpe nun findeler. Lera ne fir heranon, an ne arte her firnis. Nun lis aman bakil angadur. Only time will tell whether the cutting shall take root. For now, let us make for the seafloor shrine. You carry the very soul of our people with you, my friend. I implore you to treat her with care. Nun wir Oyonda. Atar. What am I supposed well, to do? Well, Max, sir, I will wait another area. Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry. There is aught I would ask of you. That is a pity. Have a gander at my wares. You shan't regret it. Hope to see you again ere long. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch, in my case.
Light as a feather after that exchange. This is generally used as a material. Is Harenon Alana Fe in the end? Casinke telpe nun finda ler. Lera ne fear heranon, anne arta her firnis. Aidalia anandor, nun lintan. Heror anne oya fermor, anendune faluntena? Nenambue yavstir uru findelnar. Liateren ayale. Kemen ros urun leteren, ne romen an artelpe minasvana. Nun kemen ros osto luin eldalia, ne kemen vea al carua. Luintare me kinalen meltol, parante lume an lis, ne kemen kayainju nun sil, ne meltol linkan alta car an fir nun fiamor. Morivin paran vanis in tiel. Palan hiar menran, lis fa arnefane. Arte har, lis manasvana, fui numen alecan. Elorato ala, nun mor arta her. Firnis an erumar isil rod et teller, lera aetena. Nenwen mor aiwanon, al carwa fir nun eldaia menelume sur carilm. I have still Lalasta. Nun Falasmir, Malananon? Anamorlis, Turculion, Echialis. I thank you, friend. It would be no exaggeration to say that you have saved my people. Your fight continues, does it not? Be well, and come back safe.
much has changed since I was a girl. Well, Looking for all in bits. What business have you? Hey, slow your feet! You run too fast for the likes of me! Let us endeavour to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. Isn't it about time we had ourselves a meal? Oh, what I wouldn't give for a bowl of hot stew. Interested in my wares? There's a tavern that stocks new liquor, but they only cater to beach. What's all that about? Sounds like a right pain in the arse. Finally, you Well met. Some of us get to see you. Give me a moment to think. I feel as long as I have my elf, it's my shot to blame. Anyone will notice if it's done. No. Oh, please. My legs are. Time to put bread on the table. I suppose I'm tired. I barely slept a wink. Some of our regulations ought to be revised. Is there aught I can assist you with? Whate'er comes, we shall hold fast to our hope. I fear I'll make for poor conversation. What business have you here? A moment's prayer can do a world of good. Ere the sun falls. Yet I must stand firm and do aught within my power to ensure Her Majesty's safety. I am proud to carry I am proud to carry out my duty. I should be glad to talk a moment. What hope have I of doing any good in a world? I am proud to carry out my duty. Can't complain. Most of our guests are only do take care to leave the room as you found it. 
If there's one thing I shan't suffer, tis untidy lodges. Shall we get some rest then? Well, how might I be of service? There's a ladder here. After you, Arisen. Supper and a night's rest is all I need. A well-organized pack is my speciality. I'll see to it your burdens are shared between us pawns. I dare say, I've accomplished a few feats to be proud of. Are you fit to it. travel? business have you here? Maybe the thing to tie my boots. All swell, I trust. Sorry, sir. Can't take you. You're the Arisen. I? And here I had taken you for dead. I am to inform you that Lord Phasis requests your presence at the Forbidden Magic Research Lab. As to whether you heed him, I care not. This morning. What hope have I of doing? This gloom has an eerie cast. Not have thought we'd find one here. A splendid discovery. Huh. Not much going on hereabouts. Who might you be? You yet live. I suspected as much, given that your pawn still remains. One might hypothesize that your pawn is sustained by your 
vital essence. Or perhaps something more. In any case, we ought to apprise one another of the situation. Is there aught you would know? Ah, yes. I trust it has not escaped your notice that the end of days is upon us. After you vanished, together with the Red Dragon, the seas rose to swallow the skies. It was perhaps a month from that evil day when a new calamity befell us. A host of dragons descended from the skies and fell upon the land with fang and claw. Luz the Oracle called upon me ere you arrived. As she tells it, Melv and its environs have already fallen prey to the beasts. Tis surely only a matter of time before the rest of the kingdom follows suit. I found the poor creature collapsed by the wayside near Batal. Recognizing your pawn, I decided to take the ailing thing into my custody. I thought it possible that the Arisen's pawn might hold the key to making sense of all this madness. Alas, try what I might. Your pawn will not wake. Mayhap you will succeed where I could not. The pawn is, after all, yours to command. Indeed. Then I shall take my turn. In your absence, I had hoped your pawn might yield me some information. But as you have returned, I would hear the truth from your lips. Tell me, Arisen, what became of you this past month? So following your plunge into the sea on the dragon's back, some mysterious presence reached out to you. Could that have been the world forged? Yet why would such a being linger in those fathomless depths? I can only speculate. And speculate I shall. This ought to prove a fruitful avenue of investigation. For that I thank you. Now, if you can find a way to end this interminable slumber, your pawn is, of course, free to rejoin you. Oh, Master. How long I've slept? Far too long, it seems. But worry not. Now that I am awake, I shall follow wherever you lead. A moment long awaited. I knew it was only a matter of time before your skills reached a new height. There's no discipline that steadfast devotion cannot teach. During my time with Lord Phasus, I found myself in a strange state of being. Though my mind was perpetually unclear, I always felt your presence, Master. I cannot explain it. Mayhap it was made possible by the bond we share. Fancy a broken arm? Why, that's my speciality. Her Majesty has begun her supplications. None may see her ere they conclude. Stay your hand, Vera. This one may pass. Come hither. We would speak with you. So you are returned, Sir Arisen. We are gladdened to find you safe and well in the midst of this calamity. Now, to what do we owe the pleasure of this visit? You would have the people of this nation abandon their homeland to seek sanctuary elsewhere. Tis no small thing you ask of us. We will require some time to consider. For now, Rithi, speak with Sir Manella. You will doubtless find her patrolling the city. Her assistance will be indispensable if we are to undertake the evacuation of Bak Batal and the Checkpoint Rest Town. Like 
that be a wakestone shard? How lucky we are to have stumbled across one. We ought to keep it with care, lest we lose it. Pushed your luck too far. I'll not take that from you. Pray calm yourselves, good people. I will have none of this squabbling. So, Manella, you don't understand. This scoundrel's the one who started it. No, you don't understand. This is no time for the people of Batal to be quarrelling amongst themselves. We shan't weather this calamity unless we can recall our common purpose and unite our efforts towards it. I've just had a thought. I did not take to being a mage straight. That's quite enough. I'll not take that from you. Ah, Sir Arisen. You are returned, I see. With the world in such disarray, I could not stand to be away from my homeland. Thus did I return, to render what aid I may. I maintain order as best I can, but for every fire I extinguish, it seems three more are incited behind my back, but enough of my woes. What brings you here? You wish us to evacuate? Mayhap the idea merits some thought. After all, if we sit on our haunches, it is likely only a matter of time before we share the fate of Mel. Alas, the people of Batal are far from united in purpose at present. Should we proceed, unheeding of their divisions, I fear that our efforts would come undone ere long, with every soul at their wit's end. Conflict is like to spark at the slightest provocation. As such, before we take any measures, I would have you walk amongst the people, Sir Arisen. Behold their plight with your own eyes, and should you encounter any discord, pray do aught you can to resolve the people's quarrels and assuage their fears. Such efforts will doubtless allow the evacuation to proceed all the more smoothly. As for me, my work here is far from done. Let us part ways for now, and reconvene when you have accomplished all you can. Glad tempers are understand- You've pushed your luck too far! How dare you! But you had enough yet! You've pushed your luck too. I'll not take that from you. As for me, my work here is far from done. Sorry, sir. Are you fond of those eyes? Keep. I've had well enough of your nitpicking. I reckon the world would be better off without you! This is bad. We're still in the fight! Oi, you! Don't go poking your nose in our business. This is between us. Aye, leave off or we'll make you! Well, those guys are long. We're still in the fight! I... I must stand firm! Do what you want to do! you please, eh? I'm not a green I'll not be cowed so easily! I never stood a chance! This can't be happening! Steal yourself! Have you lost your bloody mind? Reckon you could just cut us down in the street? What's the matter with you? Hey? Fine, fine. We'll set our squabble aside for today, so bother us no more. How could you? Consign it! What more do you want? Oh, 
That's it. I've had enough. What to make of this? <sighs> Got my hopes up for naught. I saw it first. <laughs> Trust a flea-ridden hide to take it all for himself. Uh, why must I share with a fangless one? This is no more your food than Batal is your land. You there! You couldn't have come at a better time. Put this upstart in his place for me, won't you? Go on, lay into it. If that's what you think, why don't you mind your own business? All right, clear off. Pretty words shan't fill our bellies. You'll get what's coming to you. I'll not take that from you. Stop this, father! Thank you, sir. I'll be sure to share it. You mean with me? For true? Thanks. I'm half starved. Oi, leave my kid alone. You're not some child snatcher, are you? Wait. You shared your food with them. I. Thank you, sir. As for you, Nomos, it would seem we were both but looking out for our children, hey? Aye. Mayhap we're not so different after all. And we've both our children fed. We've no reason to quarrel. The desire to protect one's kin transcends race and culture. It just goes to show, we are none of us so different. That was certainly worthwhile. <laughs> ah! You're just riding on your father's coattails! You slander my honor, sir! I demand a duel. This is no business of yours! Be gone! Now, now, Nara, let's not be too hasty. If we are to duel, we ought to have a witness. Otherwise, who's to say the victor fought with honor? Aye, true enough. Without a witness, either of us could simply kill the other, then disavow the use of any underhandedness. Well, sir, what say you? Will you watch over us while I take this scoundrel to task? This knave dared to slight my honor. He said my swordsmanship was hardly fit to wound a training dummy. The bloody nerve of him. <laughs> and I'd say it again. It was your dear father's patronage that made you a sentinel, not your own skill. You have my gratitude, sir. Let us delay no further. Come, Scario. Prepare yourself. Have at you! Don't break them. How You've odd. Got twice their pluck. No, I pray you! Oh, I We're still in the, the fight! fight. You're ten times stronger than I'll ever be! Heavens have mercy! <laughs> We're still in the fight! I don't know what to make of it. We'll pull through yet! What's this then? Another day. I'm in no hurry. You plan to roll up? I, I admit it. I underestimated your skill. The loss is mine. Nay. It was I who underestimated you. I'd thought to score an easy victory. But you fought fair and capably. We owe you a debt, sir. It is on your account that we've seen some sense. Were it not for your timely appearance, I'd wager this nonsense might have cost one of us their life. Indeed. Better to hone our respective skills than take up arms against petty slights, I say. It seems some things can only be resolved by crossing blades. But I doubt they'll quarrel again after this. My heart is light as a feather after that exchange.
Ah, Sir Arisen. In less pressing circumstances, I would take issue with your methods. But I cannot deny your efficacy. The people of Batal are beginning to see that they must stand together if they are to survive this calamity. We shall see the fruits of your labors when the time comes to evacuate. At the very least, we need not expect too much opposition to the announcement. Pray return to Empress Nadinia and apprise her of your doings. I must remain here to ensure no further squabbles arise. Heavens only know how many lives you have saved this day. I hope you will accept this humble reward for your efforts. What say we report back to Empress Nadinia? Her Majesty ought to be willing to commence the evacuation now. By your leave. Places such as this ought to be protected. One of our ministers informs us that you have been espied in the city, resolving the people's troubles. You have our gratitude for your efforts, which have doubtless bettered the fate of this nation and its citizenry. Your journey continues, does it not? We wish you good fortune on your travels, wheresoe'er they may take you. Yet, ere we part ways, we would make another request of you. It regards Lord Phasus. Though we have implored the man to join the evacuation, he has staunchly refused to leave this land behind. We thought that he might be more inclined to heed your words, as our own have fallen on deaf ears. Would you be willing to call on him in our stead? Of course, you are free to decline if our proposal is an unwelcome one. Pray excuse the interruption, Your Majesty, but I fear time is upon us. I would see you prepared for the road ahead. Indeed. Forgive us, but we must take our leave. Farewell. Back Batal and the rest town are now safely evacuated. I am certain we can rely upon Sir Manella to keep the peace. That was certainly worthwhile. We shall have to crane our necks to spot our foes in a place like this. Keep your eyes peeled. It is hard to find my footing in this darkness. Such quietude is a blessing. What brings you here? What might you need? Must you interrupt? I've researched to conduct. Where was I headed?
say I could forget. How might I aid you, sir? is in an unfathomable state. Long have I researched. Astonishing. Nay, some link must persist twixt this mayhem and... Commendable. Nay. Commendable. Nay, some link. M Wickedness has no hold upon the I'm proud to carry out my duty. To be protected, the heavens will surely heed our earnest prayers. I only polished it this morning. Somehow my feet always carry me. It's obvious, I'm not my life for a We've arrived well enough. Where to next? Greetings. You seek guidance, do you not? You need only make a worthy offering in exchange. If the way forward is shrouded to you, it is lovely to see you. A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for... All I've learned, I shall turn to your service, Arisen. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Come, we've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept well. Are you in the market for something in particular? Many thanks. I appreciate the business.
You would gather materials here, Monster. Can we really afford to carry more? You saw the sky fall, I trust. I doubt you could have missed it. And wherever the sky falls, a dragon soon appears to lay waste to the land. Or so I had assumed, after what befell Melv. Yet aught here appears to be different. Has our ruin been forestalled, or merely postponed? I must examine that creature. It may well be the key to unraveling the origins of this cataclysm. I can see where we need to go, but some fell power is blocking our way. Many paths are close to us now. On account of the dragon's descent, no doubt. But we must find a way to reach it. Confound this obstruction. But I suppose I ought to have expected this. Answers were ne'er so easily won. Monsters. Summoned by that beast, no doubt. Monster down and two more principles are oh, dust. What a glorious. 
a success. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. This is the only way forward. Up we go. The tide is turning against us. Why do you... Uh, a fine welcome indeed. I can only hope that the worst is now behind us. I shall return. If you know the real nature of the dragon. I'll redeem myself yet. Only the truth. Cut 
one monster down and two more replace it. We ought to ignore the rabble and focus on our true objective. Tight spot. I am honored to be called to your side, Arisen. down and two more replace it we ought to ignore the rabble and focus on our true objective the tide is turning against us Is the dragon at the heart of all this destruction? we might have learned. <sighs> Never mind. You've your charge, it is true, and the fiends appear to be falling back. But I trust you won't object if I take a sample of its remains. After all, your role is to save this world, and mine is to pursue its secrets. Though this land has seemingly been spared its destruction, there is no guarantee of safety. The oceans yet cloud the skies, and monsters swarm in ever greater numbers. As twill be difficult to continue my research under such conditions, I have decided to evacuate. I only hope that this sanctuary of yours will prove more conducive to my work.
think that vase was in truth a dragon. Oh, it was clever of you to realize its true nature, Master. Took nary a moment. Now that we're here, what did you have in mind, Arisen? Might as well take a look while you're... We're here, eh? Many thanks. Another cup of tea. Since times remember. Draconic blood flew... through the veins of lesser drink. Then I bid ye farewell. We must rest. Though the sun...